In this video, I'm going to show you how to put work breakdown structures into practical use. We're going to uh, set it up in Smartsheet. So I've done that here. Um, we've got, um, as our project, we have Emily's EP, and I've entered all the uh, different components here. You can see that these, uh, these little plus minus signs let you expand and collapse different legs of the work breakdown structure so that it takes up less room. So backing up a little bit, uh, what Smartsheet does well is it helps you track a project's progress as we go. So we have um, not just the hierarchical list of components here, but we have different columns. So for each item on it, we have a status column and we can assign it to different people. So maybe this one's assigned to Emily you know, like that, you can assign it. And um, there are different communications things and, and discussions associated with uh, each item as well, start and finish dates and, and so on. Lots of information besides just the name of the component. So that's what Smartsheet does. And as you work on your project, uh, you track what your progress is and you can also see what's coming up next. Because I know I'm going to use my work breakdown structure in this way within Smartsheet, I tend to organize it um, in roughly chronological order. So for this recording, this recording project, uh, we start out with the music, we start with songwriting, and then demo recordings and final recordings. So first we do this, then we do this, then we do this, then we work on the packaging, roughly, then distribution. Administration kind of touches all of them. Um, and so it's not, you know, exactly chronological, but it's roughly, and that helps to keep things relatively organized. So we set this all up with our project's components, and when we're ready to work on some dimension of it, so let's say that we're going to start working on the, so the packaging, booklet, uh, text for the booklet, right? We want to start getting this stuff all done. Maybe it's time to start working on the BAN biographies. Um, so, uh, when we get to the kind of the final work pa packet that we want to organize the WBS to, the next phase of it is going to be to add tasks, to come up with a task list. So to add a row for the tasks, um, I'll add a row below here. And I, I, I like to keep the numbering scheme going. Two, one, one, three, one, one. Uh, so ask the question, what's the first thing that we have to do? What's the very next action that we have to do for Emily's bio, right? Um, if I'm managing this project for Emily, I might um, uh, ask Emily if she has one, right? That'll be a task. So that's something that I have to do today. I have to contact Emily. We've gone from a noun which is Emily's bio. Now we're working on um, verbs or, or directions. Right? This is an, an action ra rather than just a thing. Um, so, and I can mark the status column in that in progress and, and we can assign it to me. Say, so Jay, that's me. And you can see that um, it stores, um, it has information about me, and we can actually link that to a report that I can see. So I, I can create another sheet. We'll get to this later, but we can create another sheet where I can see all the tasks that are assigned to me. All right. Um, and then as we go, once when I do that, well, maybe she doesn't have one. So she asked me to draft one for her instead. So now we have a new task. I can actually just cut and paste these numbers. So this would be task number two at this level. So then the next thing I do is draft Emily bio. All right. Um, and so we, we gradually come up with a series of tasks. So after I draft it, maybe I add an, a task to have Emily review it and give me feedback. And then um, I uh, get another one for her to approve it. And then I can move on to the David one. So you can see you can have a lot of tasks associated with each of these. But while we're actually managing the project, uh, this becomes a really easy way to keep things organized. There could be hundreds or thousands of tasks associated with a project. And so being able to kind of collapse them like this and get them out of the way is very helpful for when we're trying to um, track all of this stuff. You can see, even at this stage, I'm on 
line 86 at this point. I've only elaborated these two aspects of the work breakdown structure and I'm already at 86 um, lines and I've only put a couple tasks in here. It's mostly deliverables rather than actions that I'm doing. So you can see how this can blossom into, you know, if we've got four uh, four tasks associated with every um, with with every component, uh, it can easily be hundreds or thousands of lines long. So this is a, this is a way to to keep things organized. Uh, Smartsheet is great at doing this. Other products do similar kinds of things. But anyway, that's how you use a work breakdown structure while you're actually executing on a project. I hope that's helpful.